Hello, hello everybody, it's Colin here, aka Lumberjack, coming at you bros with a new vlog. Uh, sorry about the lack of videos in the last week, some things came up preventing me from being able to sit down and make one, but everything is good again, so here's a new video. First off, yes, I did buy myself a new title. I am now known in-game as the Awesome Lumberjack. Some people may see this as a waste of time, really, because you don't actually gain anything from titles, but I really like this one, so I couldn't pass it up. As for the stats that I've been working on in the past week, I've been doing a little bit of Dungeoneering. I got that up to 37. It's actually pretty fast, so I'll probably be doing a lot more of that in the weeks to come. I got my Hunter up a little bit to 71, and I got my Crafting to 80. I've actually decided to do crafting for bonus XP weekend since the XP rates are pretty high for crafting dragon high bodies and that will be able to maximize my XP gains and use the most out of my multipliers over the weekend. Um, I also got my agility up a little bit to 76 and I think that's changed since the last video. I'm not sure you can correct me if I'm wrong. And I got my smithing to 76. I'm doing Addy arrow tips now that I got 75. I've also been doing a little bit of woodcutting I finally reached the top 300 ranked woodcutters on RuneScape, and my XP is now 64.6 million. Um, and also, you may have noticed that my target XP has changed to, uh, well, from 75 million to 123.9 mil. This is because eventually I'm going to want to get 200 mil fire making experience sometime, and I'm going to be doing it with Jadinko Lair. And Jadinko Lair actually gives fire making and woodcutting experience, even though the woodcutting experience isn't really that much. But if I leave my woodcutting experience at 123.9 mil and I start my fire making at Jad Lair with my current 22 mil, I'll actually get both of them to 200 mil right around the same time, which is actually pretty awesome. And I've been back to doing a little bit of farming, and I got my XP for that up to 15.8 mil. So on a kind of random side note, this video is actually going to be dedicated to Advisable, and we just come from a cooking 99 party where he actually I think he dropped 10 mil he dropped it in 500k increments and I think there was a couple of 1 mil 2.2 mil increments and basically this is just after the party and we were just hanging out by the GE and stuff and he asked me randomly if I wanted 10 mil <laughs> and I asked him at first if he was being serious but he he really was and so this is just the video just showing him um, just giving 10 mil for no reason just because he was such a nice person and honestly I think that's about 20 mil that he gave away that day to people which is pretty amazing just to randomly just get up and feel like giving away mills and I believe he does this quite often I think it's been a couple times that he's just either had like a little contest in the clan chat or whatnot and just given away millions and I believe he was doing close to a hundred mil giveaway earlier but the person that won didn't even respond in clan chat so keep an eye out for that because you never know advisable might just give you millions um, so that's really awesome and he lives in Australia which is amazing I really really loved Australia when I was there on vacation so yeah just a big shout out to advisable and um, just keep an eye out in chat for him and say what's up because he is an awesome awesome guy so getting back on track a little bit, I did say I would briefly talk about Bonus XP Weekend in my last video, so I'm going to do that now. Basically the way Bonus XP Weekend works, and I know most of you know this already, but there is a multiplier that increases the XP gained while skilling, starting from 2.7 and dropping to 1.1 times after 10 hours. The multiplier drops every 30 minutes, so you want to be able to gain as much XP as possible with the higher multipliers. So there are really only two things you're going to want to do here. Either you're going to want to get on as soon as possible and just no life the whole weekend, which will drop your multiplier fast, but you'll have more time with the 1.1 times bonus since it stays after the 10 hours and until the weekend is over. And this may not seem like a lot, but if you're doing a high experience skill or one that costs a lot, it can save you a lot of time and money in the end. Or you can do the method that I prefer, which is to use the farming mechanic as well as the bonus XP weekend mechanic to your advantage. What I mean is, farming can really be done within a few minutes, and Bonus XP Weekend only loses its multiplier when you're online. So, what we can do here is plant all the best trees available to you before the weekend starts. And then the moment it does start, log on and do the fastest tree run you can and then immediately log off. This is going to get us a lot of XP in a very short amount of time while still keeping the multiplier high for our next farm run. You're really going to want to do a tree run every time one is available to you until about the last 8 hours or so left in the weekend. And from there, you can train the other main skill you picked beforehand. For myself, I chose to do green dragon hide bodies with crafting 
because the XP rates per hour is so high that I can still take advantage of the multiplier, even though a little bit lower, but still get a decent amount of experience. Now obviously I won't be able to gain the most experience in crafting, say if I just did it the whole weekend, but I am more worried about my total experience and not just my crafting experience here, seeing as how if I do ever max out, it will be the XP that I will be focused on. The 99s in hindsight don't really take that long to get anyways. So that is just something you guys can think about in terms of bonus XP weekend. And if you did happen to watch the, the video the whole time, you probably saw me doing some smithing with mouse keys. This is something that I'll talk about how to set up in the next video. And basically you can see that I can bank extremely fast with them, which maximizes my XP gains. Also, please ignore the fact that I'm making mithril bodies. I just need to 75 smithing really fast in case I decided to do smithing for bonus XP weekend and not crafting. So that's pretty much it for me today, guys. Again, I'm going to be talking a little bit about mouse keys. Well, I'm going to be talking a lot about mouse keys. I'm going to be going into an in-depth guide about how to set them up and also how to set up your bank when using mouse keys and just banking in general for skills. Because if your bank is set up poorly, um, you'll actually be losing XP there as well. Also, one more big shout out to Advisable. He did lend me this Santa hat and I did use it in the clips in this video. And of course, as always, a big shout out to Clan Hopeful. Make sure to check out their friends chat, HPFLL chat. And if you guys liked what you saw, then make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.